Now let's talk about in-tank conversion modules. This, uh, this one I have right here from us. This is a fantastic bit of equipment. It's got the closed cell technology sock, quite large. So if you got a weird shaped tank, it really helps out. It's 255 liter per hour pump on there. Actually, this one's equipped with a 340 liter per hour pump, so that's even better. I don't think E85 really affects these things very much. You can see the red top on it. Um, it's the same thing. This unit right here is adjustable length. So if you need to make it more shallow or in a deeper cell, like if you're using like a, a boat tank, for instance, you can just add more rods to it. Not a big deal. Um, it comes configured in a manner that you can, it's pre-regulated at 58 and a half PSI. Um, so it, you can run one single line out to your throttle body or your LS motor if you're running a jackpot. Um, or if you already have a regulator system set up and you're converting your fuel cell to match that pattern right there, you can actually take the regulator out and use our block off plug that comes in the kit and use some of our really, really nice PTFE line and have quite a substantial setup as well. You can run it pre-regulated or without the pre-regulator in there. Very adaptable unit, very good. It can be set for single in. It can be set for return style. So one of my favorites, one of the most useful, I do a lot of fuel cell as I do a lot of race cars. Uh, this is one of my favorites and it's fairly cost effective. So. This is the way to go for me. So here in our in-house fuel cell, which is also a tote, we decided to just go ahead and quickly add one of these to it. Um, that way we can kind of see that the inner ring right here, you know, I use this as a template so that I can really locate and get the, the size correct for what we're doing. The, the, the whole size that we cut is the is in the instructions for exactly like what size hole saw you really want to use if you're doing a tank conversion in a fuel cell, a boat cell, or what have you. Um, so there's an inner ring that, that screws through and on the back side of that we can see there is a like a foam gasket that is fuel resistant as well and another doubler ring on top of it that mounts the two rings together leaving these really nice studs for our fuel pump conversion. That way if you need to service the pump, change the depth, get everything set up, it has a really nice o-ring in there so it seals up in a really nice way. So I'll go ahead and install this onto my tote or fuel cell today, and then I'll show you a little bit more about the fuel pump. So if you're running a, you decide not to use the pre-regulator itself, what you can do is actually use this block off plug and use your regulator that's already in your car system if that's what you're doing. So really nice piece of equipment right here. Also looks really nice, has a nice coating on there. It's well made, good O-rings on it. They're fuel resistant as well. But for installation purposes, we got going on today. This is, uh, I've just assembled it out of the box. Took me maybe five, six minutes. Got the depth set. I just uh, measured the depth of my fuel cell here and took away roughly about an inch because the foam gasket smushes just a little bit. And uh, then we end up with the sock on the bottom. So you just want it hovering just right off the bottom of the tank. I'll just go ahead and slide it in here for you. Then I just use the rest of the fastening hardware and we see it's it's right at the bottom of our fuel level and it's nicely secured. If I needed to service this in any way or reconfigure it for my application, I can just pull it right back out. Not a big deal.